So today I'm talking about a P2097 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P2097 code? Well, it's a post catalyst fuel trim system two rich bank one. And what does this mean? Well, there's sensors and they're located on the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And then the computer uses this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. And then the second thing they do is they monitor the catalytic converter. And sensor one is gonna be located before the catalytic converter and it's gonna be called the upstream oxygen sensor. And sensor two is gonna be located after the catalytic converter and it's gonna be called the downstream oxygen sensor. And if you have a V6 or V8 engine, bank one has always decided the engine with the number one cylinder and then the opposite of that is going to be bank two. If you have a four cylinder, then it wouldn't matter. You'd only have one bank. When you're looking for these O2 sensors, it can't be a good idea just to get a diagram for your specific vehicle, just to know for sure where they're all at. It just makes things easier. For example, this is a 2007 Camry with the 3.5 liter V6. And as you can see right here, bank one sensor two is going to be located right here. And so what are some possible causes of a P2097 code? Well, the first thing that could cause problems is going to be an exhaust leak because if outside air is getting into the exhaust, then it could throw these sensors off. So be sure to be on the lookout for any kind of exhaust leaks. Sometimes there could be holes in it. Sometimes there could be physical damage. Sometimes where the exhaust bolts together, the gaskets inside of there can become old and brittle or blown out. And those can cause exhaust leaks. But the first thing that could cause the problem is going to be an exhaust leak. The next thing that could cause this is that the catalytic converter's gone bad. And quite often when these go bad, they get clogged up. And this makes the engine work harder because it's trying to push all the exhaust out. So if your engine lacks power, it doesn't go like it used to or anything like that, then that could be a symptom of a clogged catalytic converter. If you have a good scan tool, you can't check the heat before and after the catalytic converter because when it's clogged up, it's going to be hotter before the catalytic converter than after the catalytic converter. You can also use a low cost temperature reader. And basically when you use this method, you let the catalytic converter get really hot or warm up for like at least 20 minutes, half an hour or so. And then you check the temperature right before it and right after it. And if the temperature is hotter before the catalytic converter, then that's a common sign that it's clogged up. I made a video using this method. I'll put a link down below if you need to check that out. But the next thing that could cause this is a bad catalytic converter. It's also possible that that downstream oxygen sensor just failed and it's just reporting bad information back to the computer. So there might not be no problem inside of the system, but that sensor has just gone bad and it's just reporting bad information. So you can go test that downstream oxygen sensor and be sure that it's good. Also be sure to check the wiring or basically just keep in mind anything wrong with the wiring, open, short, bad connection is going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. So be sure to keep that in mind. The next thing that could cause this problem is going to be something like a faulty fuel injector or a bad coil or something like that. For example, if you have a fuel injector on bank one that's just stuck open and it's just dumping fuel into that cylinder, then that side of the engine is going to be running too rich and it's going to be clogging up the catalytic converter and things like this. Although usually if you have a bad fuel injector or if you have a bad coil pack or something like that, you're going to get other codes. You get something like a misfire code or something along those lines. If you do think this is the problem, one thing you could do is you could remove the spark plugs on bank one and check to see how they're burning. There's burn charts you can match to online to see if they're burning correctly. If one of those spark plugs is fouled out or if it's just really dark and black, then that means that cylinder is not firing correctly and it's running too rich. So that is one method you could do really quick just to see if there is an issue on bank one with one of the cylinders running too rich. But like I said, usually you'll get other codes. So if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P2097 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.